Here comes the holiday season and it's rushing towards us fast. Today we're taking on meal planning and entertaining. It's eat, drink, and ho, ho, ho. Don't forget to leave Santa those cookies. As for your family, we have some great, quick, and easy recipes using cookies for dessert. Mmm, they'll love them. We'll show you how you can pull off a holiday buffet that'll be the talk of the neighborhood. Wine and beverage coolers? Why not? It's the holidays. We have tips from a leading expert on finding that perfect beverage cooler for your home. The family is together for the holidays, so it's the perfect opportunity for a professional family portrait. See how it can be done quickly and easily. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces Holiday Special. like to be the talk of the neighborhood with your open house holiday party? The secret is in the chafing dishes used for your buffet, and we'll show you how to pull it off without a hitch. Take a look. This holiday is a special one for me. I'm hosting an open house holiday party, and I'm expecting about 30 people. I want to set up a buffet in the dining room so my guests can help themselves to whatever they like. The problem is, I've never done a buffet before. I have no idea where to start. Designing Space is hooked up with Thad Smith, executive chef for Sterno Candle Lamp, to go over to Lauren's house and put her on track for her holiday buffet. You know, I, I knew Lauren had a lot of great holiday ideas, but she's very intimidated about the idea of setting up a buffet. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna show them some very simple techniques. She's gonna be very successful at this. Oh, look at all this. I've never used chafing dishes before, so I'm a little nervous. How do you know you have the food at the right temperature where it's hot enough to serve, but not so hot that it burns the food? There's no reason to be nervous. This is very, okay. very common. What I'm gonna do is take you through kind of the tools that you'll need to successfully do a holiday buffet. The first okay. thing that we're gonna talk about is the fuel that we're gonna use for the chafing dish. Okay. It's a two hour gel. Mm -hmm. If I took the top off, you'll see that it has a pink gel. This is ethanol. Okay. It's a very, very clean burning fuel. The thing you want to make sure that you do is that you keep this in an area where it won't be knocked over, okay. where it won't cause any other problems with your decorations and things like that. Mm. Another thing to remember is this can gets very, very hot when okay. it's lit, so you don't want to touch it once it's going. The great thing about this is it has a heat indicator. When this gets hot, you'll actually see the word hot, oh, so okay. you know. So what is the proper temperature that you should be serving your food at? We want to keep hot food above 140 degrees. So between 140 and 190 is where we want to keep it, depending on what the food is. And this product right here will make sure that you get that temperature that you need. Why go through all this? Why not just store it in the oven? Well, you absolutely could keep the food in the oven, but what kind of party would it be if everyone had to go to the oven to get the food? <laughs> or if you took the food out and you put it out, then it would lower the temperature of the food very, very quickly. So we okay. want to keep hot foods hot mm. and cold foods cold, and products like this will help you do it. Plus, you can have a beautiful display mm. for your guests to see when they come in, and it's much easier than you think. What about disposal of this when you're finished? Ideally, what you want to do is let all the fuel be used, let it cool down, put the lid back on top and place in the trash can. Well, I see you brought a lot of different options here. Yep. What would you suggest for me and my party? Okay, so this is our buffet set. Let me take you through the setup in the kitchen and then we'll see it later uh, when we set up the entertaining center. Okay. So I'm gonna pop the lid here. This is gonna go right into the fuel holder. Mm -hmm. I'm not lighting it yet. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take this water pan. Mm -hmm. Most people will just take water from the tap and put it in. A much better way to do it is put water that's already hot right into the pan. So as you can see, this water is nice and hot, which means mm. when we put our food pans in here, we're gonna be a long way to keeping that food safe. So, okay. the fuel is down here. What we're gonna do is light the fuel. Okay. And it's ready to go. Now, remember, this is in place in the serving area. Right. I'll bring the food out. It's already in the pans. I'll place it in Set it right the in. water pan, and then you're ready to go. So you have enough fuel and enough water for about two hours of serving. 
And I love that when these are finished, you can either wash them and reuse them, or you can just toss them in the trash That's if you exactly want That's exactly right. You could recycle them or you could wash them. So I have a few other things I want to show you over here. Okay. So here we have the Wingard oh. Foldaway Chafer. This is very similar to the last chafer that we looked at. Okay but a little different. And the way it's different is it uses a water pan as well. Okay. It uses a food pan as well. Same concept. Mm. Water pan, food pan, it Looks fuel. much more fancy and sturdy. Much more fancy, much more sturdy. But the great thing about this product is, watch it open. It's absolutely windproof. So once this is set up, you take the fuel cans, Okay. You place them in the fuel holder, you place the water pan in, the food pan in, and you're set to go. Now the next thing I want to show you, this is called the Culinary Jet. Okay. It's a butane powered product. Mm -hmm. This is a standard eight ounce canister of butane. You get that anywhere. It takes about 30 seconds to fill. Once you're full, ah. and off you go. Now this is adjustable. Okay. Okay. It's very, very safe. You want to turn it off, you just turn it all the way or relight. This will last about an hour when it's completely okay. full. And this is great not only for fondue, but some other things that we're going to take a look at okay. over there. So for your party tonight, which one are you going to use? You know, I actually think we can make use of all of them because I'd really like to set up something outside. And I love the idea of a fondue because it's so easy for me. I don't have to do anything. And it's great fun for the guests too. Terrific. Let's go set up. Okay. Lauren just really needed to be pointed in, in the right direction. I mean, once she understood the fundamentals of putting a buffet together, she's good to go. She's going to be very successful with this party. Wow, you did a great job. This looks Thank fantastic. You. And you used the Wingard Foldaway Chafer and the buffet kit. I see you've got some chafing fuel under this fondue. You've got another fondue here mm -hmm. with the jet and the jet with the s'mores. This is such a great idea. Oh, have fun. They can cook their own marshmallows. They can use their graham crackers and off they go. So this is a beautiful setup. I'm glad Thank I could help. Thank you. I'm so glad you did. You know, you could really do this at home by yourself, but thanks to your help, you made it so easy and you gave me a lot of great ideas. Well, anyone can do this. For more ideas, you can go to sternocandlelamp.com and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Good luck with your party tonight. Okay, well, I am definitely going to follow you guys because I want more great ideas. And thanks so much. My guest should be here any minute. See you soon. <laughs> to see this portion of the show again, go to designingspaces.tv and click on the Sterno Candle Lamp video. You'll also find a link to their website. We all enjoy the goodies and fine meals during that favorite time of year. Designing Space's holiday specials bring you the latest developments and insights into creating new family traditions at mealtime and more joyous Yuletide entertaining for family and friends. From all of us at Designing Spaces, have a happy holiday season. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be a part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces Holiday Special.